The Honeymooners Podcast. The only podcast that is all about the greatest show of all time. With the stars, Joe Conti and Louis Fax. If they ever institute a nut of the month club, I've got a very good idea who's going to be January and February. Ryan, how much cash are you bringing on the trip? What do I care? I'm loaded. Nobody would ever need for that. Nobody would ever need. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nobody cash would ever have a need for two of those. Uh, Every time I go near the sink, I have no idea what I'm going to get. The Escalade and everything was all, you know. Don't be too sure. I don't have any hairpins. <laughs> Michael Bruce, I don't have the nerve to look. Is Mrs. Bruce back there? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> fins, 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 Ron. Fins. Ah, oh, there we go. We decide to leave for Florida. The car comes. All right. Is this the man? <laughs> we had to get up at four in the morning to fool the girls. These delays the are killing us. <laughs> if only we had a highway <laughs> to save time. I'm going to put in this very strange. As you can address. see, we now have major construction here. Don't worry. We'll put up a roadblock there, too. This is great. We just we just spilled this one. Hey, I'm Michael gonna... Bruce, take a look at the road. Yeah, what that's about it? my that's my uh, frontierland. Frontierland. <laughs> my frontierland. Yeah, Michael Bruce, I have some um, aquapana here. This is uh, bottled in Tuscany, Italy, and um, it's a deliciously smooth spring water. Yeah, well, name me one truck driver that drinks that stuff. At 89 cents a gallon? Like, oh, now it's raining. So we have had like three major traffic jams, slowed down for hours, and now it's pouring. And uh, Ron, you have a theory about this, I this believe. This is a plot. This is a plot. It's a plot against me. Definitely. It's without a doubt a plot. It's terrible. Care to start at the other end? Ron, salad. <laughs> Gassing up Freddie Miller's car. <laughs> oh man, we're doomed. He brought his reading glasses. Uh. What do you got there? Uh, getting some high tests. It pays to buy the best. Nice. They don't want me down there to buy cookies. Actually, at the Double Tree in Durham, North Carolina, they do. As we've just discovered, want you down there to buy cookies. I suppose this is miney. So, uh, staying at the Double Tree Inn, great place. Went to take a shower, the water pressure was kind of eh. So I sent Ron down to uh, turn the wheel towards the wall. So I don't know if you had a problem oh with that or God. not. Oh, God. First of all, there's four walls. Second of all, <laughs> yeah, well, I was wondering because the pressure didn't get any better, but the water got awfully and, hot. And I just went to the front desk. I heard out. I just heard they canceled Little Orphan Annie. <laughs> All right, I'm well, not regardless of the water there. pressure, I was yeah, not. I go. wasn't going to spend another night showering at Fred's gasoline station. Right. That's for sure. I'm examining the tires now, Ron. <laughs> examining the tires. Yeah, Freddie Muller said I could use his car, so will you get in already? Is this the Crabden residence? It is. <laughs> Rod, what do you got for that drink there? Dude, this is awesome. Yeah? No preservatives, no sugar. Yeah. Essential energy, proven in university studies. Everything in this can is good for something. Poor little Utz chips. Ain't good for nothing. Okay, so most people listen to, you know, music on their trips and way to, but this is what we do. But. Please note the genius of Jackie Gleason here. The Ralph character is fully listening right there. Good camera work, too. Even with his back turned, yes, correct. Exactly. He's rejecting Norton, but he is rapidly interested in what Norton has to say. Because Ralph is completely competing with him. Yes. 
up to now, I wasn't interested in going. There's also a flub here. Not at all. Uh, a small flub, but a flub nonetheless. Ralph says to him, to Norton, you really think you're going to win that ball? Instead of saying, you really think you're going to win that contest? God, yeah. He says he's going to win With that ball. ball. <laughs> exactly. Here, you want to hear it? Watch. Here you go. Watch. Just watch. That means wait a Norton explains. Who the judges pick as winner at the costume ball. You're raising the temperature. You don't write me, pal. Do you think you're going to win that ball? That gives me a laugh. I'm the one that's going to win it. Well, you're going to win it. I'm the one. Ah, look at all this. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm in shape. I'm in shape. I'm ready. These cars are clearly early Ma and Pa Kettle. Oh my God, somebody help. These palm trees and everything is great, but I need a Chinese restaurant. I gotta find out what time it is. Oh, I gotta tell you. Wait till you see what this furniture looks like in a Park Avenue apartment. It's gotta be beautiful. You don't want to go bowling. I'll go bowling. That was a highlight. Dude, this is, this is for Joe and Lou. Bowling for dollars. There it is. Now, Michael Bruce, we never could have won that bowling tournament. <laughs> but I know if you would make the same decision again. Dude, this is great. Two, two whole days of the convention. About the girls. <laughs> Although Ron forgot the paper bags though, so. So what are you trying to say, Ron? You know what I'm saying? I'll tell you what I'm saying. You wanna know what I'm saying? I'll tell you. <laughs> tell me what you're saying. You. Yeah, go ahead. Why are you going there? I had it. What are you going at? And that's more than anybody else in this pool can say. Because too, if I had it, they can have it. It's only pro I don't see anything else. It's all I see. Okay. Is there anything I need to say here? Anything at all? What do you got there? Honolulu cookies. They're shortbread cookies. You do like them short. Ron, I have to tell you that uh, there's been a lot of changes at the Colonnade Room, man. A lot of changes. Yep. I'm in that. shape. I'm in shape. You are in shape. Oh, dude, I just drank more of this. Whatever it is, I'm dying. Dude, I, I told you not to order that. I told you. Are you going to start with the I told you not to? Are you going to start with the I told you not to? Everything's moving real fast. The strangest thing, I just saw a yellow bellied sap sucker. In the colony room, Mr. Davis. I can't believe I had to be handcuffed to that maniac all the way to Orlando. You put that turkey leg back, it'll be doing your life on medic. That is fantastic. You sure you don't want to come, Quad? <laughs> Ron, why must you always play da 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 before you start playing that friggin' thing? Oh, there he is. Jealous McGarity. They're gonna put my face in the paper for killing you. <laughs> Come star, Benny. I'm now Italian. <laughs> Hold it, everybody. Da 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 why is one pair of pants of mine in that drawer? You're on the air. The king. The king, Alice. The king. <laughs> Jeez, what are we listening to, huh? Yeah, episode 112. Yeah. Yeah, 112. very good idea. Wait, you know how? <laughs> Dude, we gotta uh, we gotta stop for some food. I'm hungry. Dude, I, I just can't eat any more fast food. Come on. Oh well, I suppose you'd like a nice big thick steak. Is that what you? Is that why what you I, want? Why? Yes, I would like a nice big thick steak. Dude, this is pretty cool. Dude, it's not bad. Personally, I think the bulging eyes are much funnier. 
Water, water, I need water. What is it? Can I do something for you, pal? <laughs> Dude, the hat thing was cool. It's good. Yeah, how was I? How was I? <laughs> well, he said... Did they say anything about me? You were sitting right next to Herbert J. Whiteside. He said you were the biggest thing in pilot. Dude, what's that? Somebody left it on a bus. Nobody claimed it. I guess it's what's mine. in it? It's probably nothing special. They wouldn't have left it on the bus. Ron and I are headed to Detroit to uh, look at buses, inspect new buses for the lost episode. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Michael Bruce, I don't think we have the sets for that. Uh, you probably right. To where you're sleepwalking. Good idea. Good idea. Ah, uh, there it is. Ron Albany's picked out the flub. He said there's more. What do you say? There's more. Than, there's more way to skin a cat. That's right. There's more way to skin a cat. There's a flub. I don't know if it's ever been pointed out. Fresh flub. Fresh flub. <laughs> 